Welcome to the Joe Raven Peace Show, featuring highlights of the 1992 Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. The Road Warriors of Louisiana Tech University came into Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama with only one goal in mind, to upset the nationally ranked Crimson Tide of Alabama. Hello everyone, I'm Gilbert Little. Welcome to the Joe Raymond Peace Show. This past week, all the media attention belonged to the Alabama Crimson Tide defense, rated number one in the country. But in Saturday's game, the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs played like they had the top ranked defense in the nation. Led by Shannon Cornelius and a host of others, Tech held Alabama to just 67 yards rushing. That was the first time in two seasons the Tide had not gained over 100 yards on the ground. This week on the Joe Raymond Peace Show, we'll have all the highlights of the Bulldogs' outstanding defensive performance against Bama. We will also meet the two new members of the Louisiana Tech coaching staff. Up next, we'll hear from Joe Raymond Peace about the first half. Tips for staying fit. Hi, I'm R.C. McCoy with the Bone and Joint Clinic. There are dozens of definitions that tell you what a physically fit person is. The one that I like best states that if you do a full day's work, you should be able to go home and do any kind of physical activity you want and not have a problem. Factors to be considered in a physical fitness program are age, sex, overall state of physical health, along with an individual's own preference for the type of activities they enjoy the most. Whatever you decide, be sure it's an activity you can really enjoy because this will help you stick with your program. Before beginning an exercise program, you should consult with your physician, particularly if you're over the age of 35 or you've had any physical problems at all. But above all, keep the attitude that fitness should be fun. This tip for staying fit has been brought to you by Shreveport's Bone and Joint Clinic. Hey, do-it-yourselfers, pay attention. Buy direct from the mill and do it locally. Where? Carpet Mill Outlet on Linwood Avenue. Our warehouse is busting at the seams with carpet and vinyl floors at drastically reduced prices. How about this? Carpet as low as $3.99 a yard. $3.99 a yard. We're talking about prices 50 to 70% off retail. Carpet Mill will not be undersold. What about remnants? We've got a warehouse full. No frills, nothing fancy, just a warehouse full of carpet and vinyl flooring at do-it-yourself prices. Come see for yourself. Carpet Mill Outlet, 6130 Linwood Avenue. Just look for the huge yellow warehouse. The Joe Raymond Peace Show is brought to you each week by Doctors Hospital and the Bone and Joint Clinic of Shreveport. Our program is also sponsored by Tri-State Physical Therapy, the Carpet Mill Outlet, Payless Car Rental, and the Friends of Tech. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. The Tide won the toss and elected to kick it away. Rodney Bruce receives the kick at the two-yard line and finds the lane and returns it 39 yards. Tech was unable to move the ball. On comes Darrell Altick and boots this 41-yard punt to David Palmer, who is forced to call for a fair catch because of some good downfield coverage. Bama has the ball third down and five. And watch this. Jay Barker, the sophomore from Trustville, Alabama, is the quarterback. Here's the blitz, and being hit, Barker behind the line of scrimmage, gets away, and down he goes, back on the 11-yard line. The Bulldogs had the blitz that time from Steve Wilson and Doug Evans, and Barker was just running for his life, and they're going to mark at the forward motion back at the 14-yard line. Great claw defensively by the Dogs. Later in the quarter, the Tide was able to roll into Tech territory, but the defense says no way and they settle for a 37-yard field goal. Tech gets the ball on their 17-yard line, and on first down, Jason Cooper goes right for a gain of four yards. Two plays later, Sam Hughes connects with Gerald Kennedy for a gain of 12. A clipping penalty calls this drive to stall. Tech has the punt. Alabama gets the ball and drives into Tech's territory. On second and 10 on the 15, Chris Anderson slants right and is met by a pack of mad dogs. Next play, Barker attempts a shovel pass to David Palmer, who is disturbed by Fred Price for a loss of two. Bama settles for three. Good job, D. The Bulldogs get the ball first and 10 on their 24. Jason Davis rams up the middle for six yards. Three plays later, Hughes hits Brian Francis for 12 yards. 
That catch wasn't quite good enough for the first down. Bama gets the ball back with good field position, but coach Joe Raymond Peace six the attack dogs defense on the tide. First and 10, Barker's pass is almost intercepted by John Boyd. Next play, Kerry Brody pops Curtis Brown, forcing the incompletion. Two plays later on first down, Chris Gray comes up with a good defensive play. Second and 10, Derek Lassick is met by Thad Harris for a gain of only one yard. Next play, third and a long nine. Barker is dropped by Steve Wilson for a loss of four. Later in the quarter, the defense is back at work for the Bulldogs. Bama tries the end around to David Palmer. Kerry Brody says no way and drops him for a loss of seven. The next play, Myron Baker wraps Derek Lassick up for a loss of two. The Tide was unable to convert, and Brian Deal's punt is almost blocked by Shannon Cornelius and goes only 10 yards before going out of bounds. Tech gets the ball on their own 39. Hughes hits Parm over the middle for a gain of nine. Next play, Jason Cooper scampers around the right end for seven yards in the first down. Bama's defense turns up the heat, and Tech has the punt. Good coverage downfield forces Palmer to fair catch once again. Tech gets the ball back with one minute, 32 seconds left in the first half. On second and 10, Hughes connects with Jason Davis over the middle for a gain of 11 yards in a first down. Next play, Hughes tries to hit a streaking Gerald Kennedy, but the pass falls incomplete, and Kennedy is hit way out of bounds, and the tide is penalized for roughing the receiver. On first down, Hughes connects with Corey Parham for a gain of six yards. This drive runs into some difficulties, and Tech punts, and again, David Palmer can't touch this one. The Tide decides to run out the clock to end the first half with Alabama leading six to nothing. We'll take a look at the second half highlights as Alabama and Louisiana set right then. To start the second half, the Tech defense picks up where they left off. The Tide's ball third and one on the Bama 34. Houston takes it up the middle and is met by Myron Baker and Steve Wilson for no gain. Tech gets the ball for the first time in the second half, and we're off to the races. Alabama leading six to nothing, early moments, third quarter. Hughes, the throw, looking, looking, wants to go long, up field, he has a man open at the 30, at the 25, at the 15, at the 10, and all the way to the nine-yard line. John Henry got behind everybody. And Sam Hughes threw it, and I mean, he put some air under it. Sam Hughes could not have run downfield 40 yards and handed that ball to John Henry any more perfectly than he threw that ball, let him just perfectly. The dogs throw four punches at the Tide and are forced to attempt a 22-yard field goal by Chris Bonio. The kick misses just to the right. The Tide's next drive is broken up on a second and nine from the Tech 45 when Fred Price swipes this Barker pass. First play, Jason Cooper slants left for a pickup of five. Sam Hughes is injured on the next play and is forced to leave the game. This drive ran out of gas and Aldick booms another great punt. The Tide's next drive is cut short. On third and 10, Kerry Brody sticks Curtis Brown again, forcing an incompletion and the fourth down. The Bulldogs get the ball back with good field position. First play, Aaron Ferguson finds Jerome Thomas for a gain of eight. Next play, Jason Cooper up the middle for a hard five as the rain began to fall. Later in the series, the ball slips away and the tide recovers. Enter the attack dog. First play, Houston is stuffed by John Boyd for no gain. After an incomplete pass, Steve Wilson drops Barker for a loss of 10, forcing Alabama to punt. Early in the fourth quarter, the tide is rolling. But on second and nine, Myron Baker pressures Barker. David Palmer gives up, and Barker throws it past him. On the next play, the stand is made. Split backfield as Barker looks back to throw. Has some time, now being chased, and down he goes. Back on the 37-yard line, Shannon Cornelius will get the sack. Tech was unable to move the ball again. The tide returned a punt for a cheap seven. 
They set up the return. Here's a nice high driving kick. Palmer backpedaling will make the catch at the 35. Near sideline 40. Here he goes. He's at the 45, 40. Only one man at the 30, and Palmer will go all the way. Touchdown. Later in the game, Bama has the ball first and 10. Houston goes left and is stopped by Arnie Smith. Next play, the attack continues. Second down and 10, Alabama on their own 45. Barker to throw. He's being chased and down he goes. On the blitz by Kerry Brody. The free safety out of Winfield. And Barker never had a chance. All the way back on the 33-yard line. A great defensive play. On third and 23, it's time to slam the door again. Parker keeps and a slam by Shannon Cornelius forcing a punting situation. As the rain fell harder, time ran out on the Bulldogs. The final score, Alabama 13, Louisiana Tech nothing. When we come back, we'll have this week's play of the game. Uh, well, we had what we call 959 bench for the two outside guys just run straight down the field to try to get open. Was it something that uh, basically had been set up earlier on a different play or is something someone noticed? Well, we, I had told Coach earlier that I had seen that we could try to go by the cornerback and uh, when we were breaking out the huddle, Sam said, hey, I might come to you. So I just did my best to run down the field and, and do a great right pass. Was it an audible at the line of scrimmage or was it a play call? It was a play call from her. Did you feel like, did you feel like he was going to make it into the end zone or what? Yeah, at the time I did, because I thought I was going to score. It looked like that uh, you had a, maybe a step or two on the, on the defender, too. Yeah, I beat him all the way off the line and everything, and uh, I knew I had a step, and I just really didn't know where he was at behind me or anything, and I was just running hard as I could. This week's play of the game, the 62-yard pass completion from Sam Hughes to John Henry. Next week, the Bulldogs travel out west to take on Fresno State. That's going to do it for this week's program. Be sure to join us next week for all the highlights from the Fresno State game. Now let's take a musical look at Saturday's battle between the dogs and the tide. There's a spirit only found inside a winner In those who never lose the will to try A strength we all can share if we only Gotta have the heart to climb the mountain If you want to see the other side well, It's a long, hard road And sometimes you're bound to fall But you can't give up on your dream You might get knocked down But if you give your all Every time you play the game And when the journey's over You can say with pride You gotta have the heart to climb the mountain If you want to see the other side There's a feeling when we're all here together serve as a reminder until the end of time you gotta have the heart to climb the mountain if you want to see the other side